But what's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got a very exciting video for you. Today we're talking about a very exciting release that I did with Orly, which is a 13 days of Halloween advent calendar. And since this is very different from any collab I've ever done before, we actually did the release a little bit differently. So I did do a live stream on the day that this came out, but today we're going to be talking about all the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the video into three sections. So the first section is going to be completely split spoiler free. Then we'll move into the low spoiler so I can talk about how much of each thing is in the actual advent calendar. And then we'll go full steam ahead with the spoilers and I will do a day by day unboxing of all of the products in here. So I'm going to put timestamps on the video. You can see where the spoiler sections are going to be. So if you don't want to be spoiled, definitely avoid the spoiler sections. If you only want zero spoilers or low spoilers, just pay attention to what that timestamp is. I'll also give you plenty of warning though, just in case anybody wants to be surprised. But yeah, this is a project that we've been working on a really long time. If you watch my vlog channel, you probably know I'm a huge fan of an advent calendar. I just think there's nothing more fun than opening up a little daily gift for yourself. And I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. So I thought it would be just the perfect mesh of things to do for a Halloween release. And so that is how this idea was born. So let's get into the spoiler free section and we can talk about just all the basic details of the advent calendar. So here's what the advent calendar looks like. It's actually a pretty hefty box and it opens up. So you've got the 13 days inside, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail in a second. We've got the little outside. It's my little haunted house. We've got a little ghost haunting me and there's me and I do have matching hair right now, which I thought would be fun. And then the outside of it actually does look like a book. So we have the little pages here and then this part looks like a book spine. So it's got the Orly logo. It's it says Kelly's Haunted House. And then we also have all of the details about the Orly brand. So I talk about it a lot, but if you don't know about Orly, they are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. They're cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And they're also listed as being formulated without harmful ingredients. So that's what's here on the side. Oh my gosh, I have these huge sleeves on. So sorry that they keep on falling. <laughs> So that's what we've got listed on the side here. And then on the back, you can see the back of the house and you can actually see through the windows, little sneak peeks of what's in the inside of the house. And another fun fact about this is that it is a glow in the dark box. So all of the windows that are lit up do glow in the dark in the front and the back. And then also all of the numbers on the inside also glow in the dark, which is super fun. But yeah, the box itself is actually pretty sturdy. And the way that we made it, I really wanted it to be something that you can keep. So so you can actually pull out these inserts and then you can use the box for storage, which I am a big fan of fake books. So that's why we kind of wanted it to look like a book. So you could put it in your bookshelf and you could store stuff in it or you could store nail polish in it or you could store nail polish in it on your bookshelf. So yeah, that is the outside. Now I'm going to open up the inside again. No spoilers here, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Now, I think I've been on the record saying that I prefer my advent calendars to be in order, but I feel like for a haunted house, I wanted it to be a little bit different. So I did want to make it a little bit jumping back and forth because I feel like, I don't know, haunted house is kind of like a maze, you know, I don't know. So each room has its own little scene and then each room is a door. So you open it up for that day and then you get your exciting product on the inside. <laughs> so we've got a lot of really cute scenes here. Honestly, the Orly team outdid themselves with this because I just gave them a bare bones idea and they made all of this incredible little art and there's just so much little details and you can actually see. I don't think this is a spoiler. Actually, maybe I'll save it for the low spoiler section. I'll save it. But yeah, we've got each room with so many little details details that you can see like day number three, there's actually a little nail polish tower. And then it has my witching hour polishes on the top row, which I think is so cute. So there's like a lot of little extra special details going on in each room. It's super, super cute. So I really love the art. It was something just so special and really so much better than I even could have imagined. So I am going to talk about the price at the end of the video. So you can skip ahead to there if you don't want any spoilers. But now let's get into the 
low spoiler. So basically what I mean is if you want to know how much of each thing are in the box, that's what we're going to be talking about now. If not, you can skip ahead to the end of the video where I talk about pricing and where to buy it. Okay, so on to the low spoilers. Like I said, there are 13 days of products in here. So every day for 13 days, you do get to open a little window and you can see what is behind the door. So I'll let you know how much of each product is in there without giving you spoilers on what they are. So in the advent calendar, we have three full size bottles of nail polish. We have five mini bottles of nail polish. We have two nail care products, two nail tools, and then one nail art accessory. So all of the nail polishes in here, so the five minis and the three big ones, they are polishes that are exclusively available in this box. They're not available anywhere else and they do have special edition labels on them. A lot of them are actually what I like to call haunted nail polishes. So if you've watched my last collab with Orly, you know I'm a big fan of remixes. That is something that we played around with in this box. But like I said, all of these polishes are unique to the advent calendar and they're not available anywhere else. And the nail art tools and the nail art accessory is also limited edition products that are not available anywhere else. So yeah, we have a lot of really exciting things in here. And like I said, there is limited edition packaging on them. So they all have really beautiful artwork that's very similar to the interior of the box. So something to get excited for. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I'm going to share the price at the end of the video. So if you don't want to be spoiled, skip ahead to the end timestamp there. I am going to do a full unboxing day by day and show you what is in each day of the advent calendar. So that's going to start now. We're going to go through all 13 days and then I'm also going to swatch the polishes for you. Last warning, skip ahead to the end of the video. You don't want to be spoiled, but we are going to go through and I'm going to open up each day of the calendar and I'm going to show you what's inside. Okay, so day one of the advent calendar is a full sized nail polish bottle and this is actually a remix of my wing it nail polish, which if you remember from last year, that was a bat shaped glitter topper that I did. And this time we have a brand new version of it. This one is called Gone Batty. So we do have the black bat shaped glitters in here. And then we also have a ton of gold and holographic glitters in here. So it's really fun. It's perfect for Halloween. And it's basically just a louder, more vibrant version of Wing It with a little bit of hollow sparkle added in. So the way that I like to apply these bat glitter nail polishes, and you can fish them out and just apply them with the bottle brush. But the way that I like to do it, just so I get the perfect placement, is I will wipe off the bats from the brush and I'll just apply what I like to call the background glitters. And then I'll lay some out on a little piece of scrap paper and I'll fish the bats out with a toothpick and I will just place them on my nail where I want them to be. And just depending on my nail length, I like to do between three and five bats on each nail. So that's the way that I like to wear it. But like I said, the bats aren't too heavy, so they don't all float to the bottom. You can still grab them with the bottle brush. Ooh, you know what? I should actually tell you what each room is as I'm opening it as well. The day one one was actually the foyer area. So we have a little archway with these bats coming out and that's actually a little hint as to what the polish is going to be. And there are a few little hints scattered throughout the artwork of this. So you can kind of make a, a little bit of a guess as to what it's going to be, but it, it might not make sense until after you already open the nail polish. We have a picture of me because I, you know, I have to keep a picture of myself in the foyer. We have a little sneaky ghost hiding behind the archway. And then we also have a little Halloween jack-o'-lantern basket with candy in it. Super cute. There's just so many little details. Like even this one, there's also like a little coat rack and <laughs> there's a bat going for the umbrella. It's just so cute. So anyway, day number two is actually part of a larger scene. So day number five and day number two are in the same room. And this is the primary bedroom, I should say. Well, it's actually, I think it's the only bedroom, but it is, it's, it's the primary bedroom. A little ghost at a vanity and he's looking at himself in the mirror and he's got a little evil grin on and he has a bunch of Orly nail polishes with him. And there's also a little starry night sky outside and we've got a skull and a candle on the uh, window here. And also like just the little details, like there's actually a little wallpaper pattern in the background, which is so cute. So yeah, we open this up and inside we have one of my favorite nail polish products of all time. If you've ever watched any of my videos before, you probably know what it is, but it is the Orly Bond 
Bonder base coat. This is my number one base coat. I love it so much. I use it for like 90% of my reviews and I also use it for like 90% of my manicures. So I had to include it. I wanted to also give you guys the opportunity to make a full manicure within the advent calendar. So that's another little hint as to what else is going to be in here. <laughs> so yeah, Orly Bonder base coat, my favorite base coat. Next up we have day three. This is actually my favorite room. This is my little nail studio. So we've got a nail polish tower with all my Orly's on it, which by the way, I don't know if you saw this, but I did organize my nail polish tower to have Halloween colors in Orly, just because I, I thought it would be cute for the video. <laughs> But yeah, so we've got the little tower. There is my witching hour collector's box on the top of the nail polish tower. We also have my little string lights in the background and we have my ring light because you can't film without a ring light. And then within here, we have the first mini nail polish that is a remix of an existing Orly nail polish. I'm so excited about this and I'm so pleased that the Orly team let me do this, but I really wanted to take some of my favorite Orly nail polishes and do a remix of them. It's something I feel like I've been talking about remixes for a really long time. I love the idea of like remixing a nail polish. I really wanted to do it with some of my favorite shades. You can probably guess which, I mean, the shades that I talk the most about from Orly are in here remix, but it's really fun because we kind of just change them a little bit to and make them funky and instead of calling them a remix we're calling them haunted shades so orly even made a little reel if you saw on instagram of ghosts going into the polishes and like haunting them so that's kind of the idea behind this but this first one is called chrysalis and this is actually a remix of the shade metamorphosis which is one of my favorite all-time orly shades we decided to make a remix of it that's actually a lighter almost like sage green color and we have that gorgeous duochrome kind of shimmer in there that looks between a copper to a gold. And I'll show you a little quick comparison of what they look like side by side. It's definitely fun to see how the remix kind of changed it a little bit. And we also tried to come up with names that were like haunted versions of <laughs> the original polishes. But this one, I just, I feel like the word chrysalis is kind of creepy. So I thought it was a cool name for the polish. Oh, and also, by the way, here's all the little special edition packaging that we have on the bottles. And one more thing to note about the mini bottles, they do have a skinny brush instead of the wide flat brush, but I did find that they were still really easy to work with just because the Orly formula is like very buttery and smooth. Okay, so moving on to day four, we actually have a long door here and it is the staircase going up to the top floor of our haunted house. And we also have some little footprints here because the ghosts have snuck upstairs. And inside here, we have a double-ended dotting tool and it says Orly and Kelly Marissa on it and it's purple and it actually matches the advent calendar itself. I am a big fan of dotting tools, but I especially love a very large dotting tool. So we have one end that's super, super big and then we have one end that's really small and I feel like there's just so many different art styles that you can do with these two sizes they're pretty much the two sizes that I use all the time. So combined in one tool, I thought that would be super convenient. And also it's cute because it's purple. <laughs> okay, so at day number five, we are going back to the bedroom. So this is the other half of the bedroom where the little ghost was looking in the vanity. And this side is where the bed is. We've actually got a green blanket on the bed, which is so funny because I just started using a green blanket on my bed. Although this was made way before I did that. We have the other half of the window and it's kind of like a little bookshelf and we have a little ghosty sleeping with a little stuffed animal that is a vampire. <laughs> And inside this day, we have another mini nail polish that is a remix shade of one of my favorite Orly nail polishes. So this one is actually a remix of Dreamers Awake, which is a gray nail polish that I use all the time for swatches, specifically when I am swatching something that has black or white glitters in it. And I feel like it's also just like the perfect neutral gray polish and I love it a lot. So we made a little remix of it. This one is called Waking Nightmare. So this 
is the gorgeous gray base. And again, we have this really beautiful duochrome shimmer in here. So looking at it head on, it's like this coppery pink color, but then around the edges, it looks like a gold and even into green at certain angles. So it's really gorgeous. It's another perfect neutral kind of shade. And it just has a little extra added sparkle to it, which I think is really fun. And also that one is another little hint as to what the polish is because we have the little ghost sleeping in the bed. So it's like dreamers awake, waking nightmare. You know what I mean? So then we have day number six. You're probably going to know what polish this is based on what <laughs> the room is, but this is, I don't know, what is it? Like the sitting room? And it is a very musical room. We've got all of these music notes floating around. We have one ghost sitting on a recliner. Well, I guess it's not a recliner. It's just a nice comfy chair and he's reading. And then we We've got another ghost haunting a piano and playing some music on it. Could it be a symphony? I don't know. <laughs> so I'll give you a second to guess it, but what is inside day number six is another remixed mini nail polish. So this is actually the first polish that we came up with to do like a haunted version of, because if there is one polish that I talk about all the time, it is Orly Synthetic Symphony. It is my favorite purple nail polish. It is stunning. If I didn't have all of the nail polishes that I had, I would just wear that every day for the rest of my life. And I absolutely love it. We were joking around about that polish and I think it was actually Ryan who said, oh, like a haunted symphony. And I was like, oh my gosh, we need to make a haunted symphony nail polish. So we took my absolute favorite nail polish, Synthetic Symphony. We have that color in the base and and then we added a duochrome shimmer to it. So head on, it actually looks green, but around the edges, it looks like a coppery red color. That's actually what I'm wearing right now. And I would say when you're looking at it head on, that's when you get the green. But then when you look at it, when I say extreme angles, I mean like this. So if you're looking at your nail like that, you see this coppery red kind of color. And it is so stunning. I am so pleased that I got to add a version of Synthetic Symphony into this advent calendar because I love that polish so much. I will never get tired of it. It. Okay, so moving on to day seven, we've got a little laboratory area because everybody should have that in their house, I believe. So we've got some beakers over here. We have a little mushroom that may or may not be poisonous, a little witch's brew going, and we've got some potion bottles, some orly bottles because, you know, we're haunting them. And we've got a little skull in here as well. So let's see what's in it. So in day number seven, we have another remix nail polish in a mini bottle. And this one is is actually a remix of the polish Neon Paradise, which is, in my opinion, the perfect Halloween green color. I think specifically the combination of a cool toned purple and then like a lime green is so like villain vibes and also Halloween vibes and just absolute perfection. And I love wearing Neon Paradise with Synthetic Symphony. I think they look so beautiful together. So I really wanted to do a remix of that shade as well. So introducing Neon Dystopia. So this one, again, we've got that neon paradise green base in there. And then we added that duochrome shimmer because it just makes it a little bit more fun. So looking at it head on, it actually looks like more of a bluish color. And then the shimmer turns into a coppery orange when you're looking at it at extreme angle. So a super fun shade. It just feels very like ectoplasmy and evil and fun. <laughs> and also this would be a great summer color as well, just because it's such a bright, fun color, but I don't know. It's just, it's giving me villain vibes. Day eight is another long passageway here. So we've got these footsteps creeping forward in a long eerie hallway, and it is going to be another nail tool. And inside day number eight, we have a cleanup brush because I, contrary to popular belief, am actually a little bit sloppy when it comes to painting my nails. And the thing I always have with me when I'm painting my nails is a little cleanup brush. So so it's a super skinny brush because honestly, I prefer them to be very small and delicate just to get all those little details. And what you do is you dip it into acetone or nail polish remover, and you can actually just slide it along the cuticle of your nail to get a nice clean line. And again, it's purple. It matches the box and it also 
yellow is just the best color and it says Orly and Kelly Marissa on it. So super, super cute and also very useful. <laughs> you could probably also use it for nail art, but I'm, I'm a big cleanup brush gal. So that's what I think of when I see it. Okay, day number nine brings us to the basement, which is where all of the bats live. It's a very dark and scary place. We've got a little ghost haunting over there. We've got some moths flying around as well. And we also have a little monster under the stairs. And inside day number nine, we have a full size nail polish. I'm really excited about this one. It's called New Moon. And this is actually a one coat matte black nail polish. So again, we have the special edition label and the full size ones are a little bit different. So this one has the New Moon on it. And we also have a couple of little moths just enjoying the nighttime. And it's a really great formula. It's super smooth and buttery, but it does dry down to that matte finish. So if you love one coater black nail polishes, then you might want a matte black nail polish as well. But if you don't want it to be matte, you can also add a glossy top coat. So it's really easy to just play around with and do with it what you will. Then we have day number 10. This is the biggest room in the little calendar and this is in the kitchen. And I like to think of this as me and Ryan in the kitchen because we have one ghost just making a little bit of a mess and he is knocking over a beautiful four-tiered cake that also happens to be purple and then we have another ghost trying to catch it and potentially clean up after him and then we also have a little stove with the most adorable little fire we've got another little witch's brew going and again it's just all the little details that make it so fun you know we've got like the little sink and all the pots and pans and stuff and we have a little glimpse outside into the night sky which also is purple by the way but yeah, so this is the biggest door. So let's see what's behind it. I actually know what's behind it, but I'm trying to make it sound mysterious. So behind door number 10, we actually have Kelly Marissa and Orly water decals. This is a type of product that I think is so underrated and I have wanted to make these for so, so long, but it was a really long process to get them right. So water decals are basically like stickers, but they don't have the edge around them, which is incredible. So the way that you apply them is super easy and there is instructions on the back. Oh wait, before I tell you that, I should tell you what designs are on here. So there's 42 different decals. We've got skulls, we've got bats, we've got potions, moons, sparkly stars, snakes. Of course, because I love space, we had to add little alien heads and also some planets. And then we also have tarot cards and a few little crystals in there as well. So yeah, basically the way that you use water decals is you cut out the design that you want and then you dip it into water. And honestly, you do not need much water at all, just a really small little bowl. So you put it in the water for about 10 to 20 seconds and then you pull it out and you can actually separate the decal from the white backing and you take that and you apply it onto your nail and basically it's like a sticker but it just melts into your nail and it just looks like a design that you printed or somehow applied on your nail without using a sticker so they're really cool they're really fun to use and they're also very opaque so you can put them over darker base colors and they'll still show up really nicely okay moving on to day number 11 we've got the little dining room and we have a couple of our ghost patrons dining in the dining room. So we have a very distinguished ghost wearing a little top hat and a bow tie. And then we also have a little ghost date because we have a lovely little ghost with pearls and they are sipping out of some goblets, which may be wine. It may be some sort of ectoplasmic goo. We're not sure. And they are just waiting for dinner to be served. Also, a couple of bats have flown in. They're curious about what's for dinner. And inside door number 11, we have another remixed nail polish. And this one is actually a glow-in-the-dark polish. So this is a remix of the Orly Polish Glow Up, which is a polish that you can wear as a glow-in-the-dark topper, or you can also wear it on its own. And it's kind of like this milky, slightly greenish tinged color, but we decided to make a remix of that. This one is called Cookies and Screams because it does look like 
cookies and cream ice cream. We do have little black micro glitter scattered throughout. So it creates this really cool effect, especially when it is in the dark, because it almost looks like, I don't know, like little spiders or creepy creatures crawling over your nails. So it's just a really fun way to play with the glow in the dark polish. You can also use this as a topper. If you don't want to do too many coats, you can just put one coat over white to get a very similar effect. But I really love it as of just color on its own. I think it's a fun, interesting base color. Then we have day number 12 and we are in the bathroom now. Got one ghost haunting the toilet, which is purple, which is my ideal toilet. And then we have a bath and... <laughs> We have this incredible rubber ducky that is also a little devil. So it is super, super cute. And in here we have the Orly Glosser High Shine Top Coat. So like I said, I wanted to make sure that you could have a full manicure just using the products in this box. And I did want to include a top coat. And I think this is a great top coat. It does look blue tinged in the bottle, but it does look clear when you're applying it. And it gives you a nice glossy shine to your manicures. And then then last but not least, we have day number 13, and this is a very intense room. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a ritual going on here. We have a pentagram with the Orly bottles because we're summoning a ghost. We have a little Ouija board. We have some books and some candles for, you know, atmosphere. And then we also have a couple of windows, and you can see the moon shining from the window. So potential little hint as to what's behind here. And behind door number 13, we have a full-size nail polish. And this one is actually not a remix. This is fully just a new fun polish. It is a glitter topper and it's called Moonlight Ritual. So we've got a lot going on here. Most notably, we have silver holographic crescent moons. And then we have teal hex glitters that are holographic. We also have micro purple hex glitters. And then we have a little shimmer running throughout that has a little bit of an iridescent glow to it but for the most part we're looking at that combination of like the cool toned purple and this like tealish green color plus the moons so again the way i like to apply this same way i like to wipe off the larger glitters on the brush and just apply it like a background and then i will go in with a toothpick and i'll apply my moons so yeah that is all 13 days of halloween for my little haunted house advent calendar we honestly had so much fun creating this. I really loved the process and I loved being able to actually make something that I love so much and kind of just make it feel like every day you're getting a little gift and make it Halloween themed because that's the best holiday in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you like the products that are in the box. Now let's get back to the no spoiler content. We can talk about the value of the box, how much it costs, and I also have a little discount code for you. So the value of everything in the box is $110 USD, but it is available for purchase for $99 USD on the Orly website. Now I do have a discount code, so you can use the code 10bones to get $10 off your order. So that makes it $89 USD. And the Orly team has been working really hard to get these products to be internationally available. So I will let you know as they become available in different countries. But as of right now, the advent calendar is available in the US, in Canada, in the UK, and in Australia. And then as we get more, I will list it down in the description. But yeah, that is it for the advent calendar unboxing and announcement reveal discussion. I am so, so excited to be sharing it with you. Like I said, this was a long time in the making. So really eager to hear what everybody thinks about it. All the products and polishes in there are very special. And I really put a lot of love into making sure that every single day had something that felt like a really good gift to get during your advent calendar opening. So I hope you feel the same way. Huge shout out to the Orly team for just making this so incredible. Just all the little details and the artwork makes it feel so special. But also shout out to you guys, my viewers, my commenters, my subscribers, my followers. I appreciate you so much. It really is such a special opportunity to be able to make products like this for you 
and I have so much fun doing it. I really just like to think of the products that I would want to receive and I feel like so many of us have so much in common so hopefully it's stuff that you like as well. But yes, thank you so much for your support and for your love and thank you so much for being the best community in the whole galaxy. But yes, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. If you watch the spoiler version, let me know in the comments which day is your favorite and let me know which artwork day was your favorite because I think it's just a really fun time. And if you enjoy my content, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocky Man's daughter, Paola, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Okay, so fun fact, I do, I feel like you can't really see it on camera, but I did do my hair to match the little Kelly Marissa that has her head poking out of the door in the advent calendar. So, and it's very specific, let me tell you. So if you look at the door, we have little Kelly Marissa. By the way, she is wearing this choker too. How cute is that? So yeah, she's got two streaks of red in her hair. So she has one up here, which I do have, but it's kind of hidden. And then she has another one on this side, which I also have, again, kind of hidden. And then she has, and this one, I really zoomed in on the artwork to see this. So she has two streaks of purple and one streak of blue on the bottom. So I did two streaks of purple and one streak of blue, which I don't know if you can tell, but they're in there. So I wanted to match the little Kelly Marissa in the haunted house. And I don't know, I just, I think it's so much fun. I really had a lot of fun with this. And like I said, I also wanted to do Halloween colors in my background, but it's just been a really fun experience. So I hope you enjoy it too. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.